Hello everyone. As you can read from the title, today I will be conducting a test of McAfee Mobile Security. This has been highly requested by my viewers, and I've been meaning to test this product for a while. Without further ado, let the test begin. I have already opened McAfee to register for a free trial, but I have not changed any settings. As you can see, the user interface is simple, with recommendations and a protection score at the top of the page. This simplicity carries over to the other tabs, as you will see. There is the scanning function front and center, which is the only module I will be focusing on. There is an identity protection module, which will check for data breaches that affect you. Now, Google Chrome and Apple devices have similar functionality, but it is still nice to see this implemented. Obviously, I will not be entering my information into the identity protection module since this is a public video. There is also a VPN in McAfee Mobile Security which may help protect your data on public Wi-Fi networks. Now I have strong feelings about the use of VPNs, but I will save that for a separate video. There is also a Wi-Fi scan function which checks a user's Wi-Fi network for security issues. Once again, I will not be opening that since it will display my Wi-Fi network information. And finally, there is a safe browsing module, which will protect a user against malicious sites. Now, I will not be testing that, but let me know if I should test that in a future video, because I might get other anti-mower solutions for Android involved. And the settings, they are very uninteresting, so I will not bore you with anything in this tab. To test McAfee's detection rate, I will be using 115 malware samples. These are a collection of both old and new samples, with the threats being ransomware, spyware, and various trojans. I will go ahead and begin a scan with McAfee, and I will be right back when this is done. I'm back, and the scan has completed with 111 threats found. The scan took a little while, especially compared to other security products I have tested. I will go ahead and click the Resolve All Threats button, and we will see what's left over. It looks like everything has been removed. So let's see what we have left. We have five threats left. Now, since there are so few threats, I might as well run some of these. Now, all of these have been confirmed as malicious, with one of the samples already having a threat family name. So let's go ahead and run some of these. I will put a timestamp if you want to skip past this. As you can see, Google Play Protect is already starting to block this. I will go ahead and install anyway. And McAfee has labeled this as safe, which it is most certainly not. So that is a miss. Let's try this one. Once again, Google Play Protect has flagged this. We will go ahead and install anyway. McAfee has labeled this as safe as well. Let's try this one. Once again, flagged by Google Play Protect. We will install this anyway. Once again, that's a miss for McAfee. Let's try this one. That one has not installed for some reason. Let's try this one. This looks like a fake Asphalt 8.
That's a miss for McAfee. I will not count the Flash browser for this test. Actually, I think I will, since it is already confirmed as a threat. So, I will put the detection rate up on screen now. Now, I am pretty impressed with McAfee. It has done really well, especially considering how it's been lackluster in independent tests on PC, so this is good to see, especially on mobile. A lot of antivirus manufacturers skimp when it comes to mobile security, and McAfee has not done that, so I give them a thumbs up. Now, as for whether or not you want to trust McAfee, that's completely up to you. I know that has become, for lack of a better word, a meme in the industry. So it's completely up to you whether you want to install this, but this gets a pass from me. It did incredibly well. And with that out of the way, thank you for watching this test.